All right, so this Reddit user needs some help getting target CPA to run on Google Ads. This is something I have a lot of experience with here. I'll show you one of my ads account, this ads account for a local business I own. Uh, we can see right here that in the last 30 days, I've spent a little bit over 11,500 bucks on just the search campaigns and they are all running target CPA. You can see the target CPA right there in the bid strategy type and it works. Right here we can see on this campaign, it's gotten 101 conversions. And these conversions are one minute phone calls from a first time caller. And they're happening between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. So we only run these call ads or these campaigns up here, the ones where we really spend the most money. Uh, Monday to Friday when we have somebody in the office to answer the phone and a conversion is only triggered when a caller connects and they're a first time caller and that call lasts more than a minute. So that way if it's somebody that is totally irrelevant and it's just a short call and we just hang up real quick. It's not counted in here. Anyways, uh, the cost per conversion is $50 and 41 cents. And you can see if we open this up in the setting, my target CPA is $50. So this campaign is working and the target CPA works and I love it. In some of my other ads accounts, I spend way more money and they're all using the target CPAs and all my campaigns are sticking to them. I know on these two campaigns right here, my target CPA is $40. And in that this case, it's a little less than $40. So yeah, the target CPA works. Let's go back to this post. Uh, they say, I recently had a manual CPC campaign and I switch it to maximize conversions. I set the target CPA to the automated suggested levels. The campaign impressions and clicks took a, took a dive. So a few days later, I removed the CPA targets. The campaign performance did not improve any suggestions. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the beginning here. They're running ads using manual CPC campaign. I do not use manual CPC at all. I start all of my campaigns using maximize conversions. Sometimes I use broad keywords. Sometimes I use phrase match. We really don't have enough uh, details in this post to get into that stuff. And it's really irrelevant um, to the fundamentals of getting the campaign to actually work. I run maximize conversions, I set the budget and I let it run. And I let it run until I get 50 conversions. That is very, very key. I do not set a target CPA until I've gotten at least 50 conversions. And I'm spending pretty aggressively usually to get that 50 conversions within a week. Of course, you know, it depends on the size of my audience, right? In this case, for this local business here, while these are all getting 50 in, are they getting 50 in a week? Each one of them, no, they're not. 30 days, you know, this is what they're getting. So they're getting roughly 20 to 25 in a week. Uh, this is for a, you know, small service area. For some of my other businesses, one in particular, I run ads nationwide. Those ones definitely get 50 of them in a week. That's what I'm trying to get. If I cannot because the service area is too small or it's, you know, a real niche product, I wait until I at least get 50 conversions and then I set the target CPA, okay? And I will set the target CPA at basically whatever my average conversion cost is over the time that it took me to get that 50 conversions, all right? And then I'll let it run for a week. Make sure it's still working. They never nosedive on me. They never, you know, they never dive off or just kind of end, right? If I've set that CPA where it was historically for that past month. Uh, and then I'll let it run for a week and then I'll move that CPA down. So when these campaigns... When these campaigns were new, my target CPA on this one was not $50. My CPA on this, my target CPA was probably like $90, right? And then I let it run for a week, move it down to 80. Let it run for another week, moved it down to 70. Let it run for another week, then I moved it down to 60. So uh, basically I start off with a high target CPA after I get enough conversion data and then let it, uh, and then move my target CPA down to where I ultimately want it to be. That is how I get these to work. So Although absent the details, reading between the lines here, what I'm gathering is that this user does not have enough conversion data to actually let the automated thing get the right level. Uh, so the automated, you know, if it doesn't have enough data, the automated thing, I don't know why it spits anything out. It should just say, we don't have enough data, uh, but it just spits out some number and you use it. And that is just ultimately too low to let anything work. Remember with these machine learning things, you have to get a sample. And you have to get a decent sample size. 50 might even be relatively low in the grand scheme of things. Um, it works for me, but you know, some of the big spenders may not 
go to that until they get 100 or 200 conversions, but 50 is my threshold and that's where I find things effective. So really it needs to get a big enough sample size and the fact that things just took a dive means it didn't have a big enough sample size to really garner in a proper automated suggested level. And even then, you know, I really don't pay attention to the automated suggested level. As I said, I look at what the cost was to get my 50 conversions. I set it right at, you know, whatever the average cost per conversion is. And then I, you know, let it run, get some more data, get more sample, and then I lower it down. And as I'm doing that, I'm also increasing my budget. So just for example, here in this campaign, I'll show you, right? You know, my target cost per conversion is $50. My daily budget here is $500 per day. But if we look at this, uh, we can see over the last 30 days, this campaign spent a little over $5,000 and it could have spent, mind you, this campaign only runs five days a week. So let's just say over 30 days, there was 22 days that it was running because right? there's weekends. So 22 times 500 equals 11,000. It could have spent 11,000 but it didn't, it was sticking to, to our target cost and uh, pulling them in at $50 per conversion. So I keep, what I'm pointing out here is that I keep my budgets way higher than I'm actually spending. If this one were to spend $500 a day uh, and you know get close to that daily budget and be getting my conversions in there, right? I could get the conversion at the target CPA, I'd move this thing up to $1,000. And in another ads account, I do have one where I set my budgets at $20,000 a day. They, you know, they rarely hit that. Some of the ad groups or campaigns will hit, you know, two or $3,000 a day. But I want Google to know like, hey, if we're getting these at this conversion cost, you know, sky is the limit. Because I know that for every one of these $50 conversions we get, we're going to sell one out of four of them. And our profit is X, you know, and we're meeting our budget. So, yeah, as I'm lowering my target CPA, I'm also increasing the budget. So big thing I think for this user though is just getting more conversions before they actually set that target CPA. On that note, guys, I hope you found this one helpful and insightful. I'm signing off on it.